Yo, what is up guys? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the fourth episode of Gaming Gains. These are all the video games I bought for the month of August. It's a little bit late as was the anime games and there is going to be a figure games coming after this so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, I'll show you guys every single video game I bought for the month of August. Let's get started. So for a brand new console, I bought some Sega Saturn games here. Now I have two fighting games as well as one card-based RPG, so I'm going to show that card-based RPG here. These are all Japanese import Sega Saturn games, and I got them incredibly cheap. I got them for around 6 or $7 each, and I, you know, I don't even own a Sega Saturn, especially not a Japanese Sega Saturn, but I knew that these games are fairly rare to come by, so I couldn't pass them up um, for that price. So this is Arcana Strikes here. Um, these are also in pretty decent condition, you know, the cases are crack-free and everything. Uh, I believe they are missing like a few, like I think there's supposed to be an insert, oh, oh no, there goes the disc! So they were in good condition until I did that, but uh, okay, no, so the disc holder is uh, broken there. Um, not a big deal, so yes, there's the disc and here's the insert of the manual, let me get that out and show you. So yeah, the manual is the cover, but I feel like they're supposed to come with a little, um, a little like insert thing, just like the Dreamcast games, I'm not 100% sure, as I said, I don't really collect Sega Saturn or really any Sega stuff, but couldn't pass it up for as cheap as I got them. So the next game is Vampire Savior versus Fighting. Uh, so these are in the Darkstalkers universe, as you can see here. I own Darkstalkers Chronicles on PSP. So, you know, really cool to have this one. I have to say that all these games um, have kind of anime art styles, so, you know, they definitely fit with my um, collecting goals as it is. So, there's the disc, here's the manual. Let me pop this out. This manual is a little bit more beat up than the others. It looks like it's been like chewed or something there, but there you go. Um, you know, some of the characters in here, some of the artwork. Yeah, cool stuff. Here is Street Fighter Zero Two, another Japanese import. Let me open it up for you guys. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. When I said the inserts, this is what I meant. I feel like there's like spine things or whatever these things are. I feel like um, to be 100% complete, they need to come with them, but there's an example. Let me pop out the manual. So yeah, I think those sat on the spine and they were kind of like the price of the advertisement. Not 100% sure. I'd love to get into collecting more uh, Sega stuff, more retro stuff, but yeah, stuff's just so expensive. I, I really don't really, you know, have the money for it at the moment. Um, and I'm just not searching for it actively, but happy to find... If I find something for a good price and a lot, I'll definitely pick it up. So there's the Sega Saturn games. Moving on to the Sony consoles now, I have a single game here from the PlayStation 2. This is also a Japanese import, also bought off the same seller as the Sega Saturn games. And this is a Neon Genesis Evangelion game. Uh, I'm not sure of what the exact title is, because here you can see it's in Japanese, but... You know, I'll print it on the screen, I'll do some research and figure out what it is. Um, but it says, okay, the angels are back again, so... Yeah, I'm not sure if this is like a visual novel or what type of game it is, but... Again, I got it for like, you know, uh, I think $7, so... Um, I have to say that... I don't... I think this game is exclusive. Um, and like PS2 Japanese exclusive, especially anime related video games. I'm definitely interested in collecting, even at this stage, so really happy to have that one in my collection. And it's funny, like, how much Evangelion stuff I've been getting since I saw uh, the movies and the series for the first time, but yeah, there's a PS2 import. Okay, moving on to the PlayStation 3, I picked up another 3 for 15 deal at EB Games, and I also got a couple of games from Cash Converters, a couple that I've been after for a very long time. Uh, so we'll wait to get them last, but here is the 3 for 15 I picked up. This is Fairy Tale Fighters. Now this game, um, I'd seen some gameplay on and I was really kind of on the fence of if I wanted it or not, but for $5 I thought I'd pick it up. It has some sort of charm. I feel like it's a pretty uh, lifeless kind of gameplay in terms of, you know, but basically it's like uh, fairy tale characters, you know, hacking and slashing each other up and there's a lot of blood and gore, so... I'll probably try it out, there's some co-op in there, so there you go. Um, these two I've already played, this is Defiance, um, this game is free online, I'm not sure if the servers are still up, but it's basically a uh, first person shooter, uh, first person, third person, I think it's both actually, no maybe it's a third person, it's a shooter, I can't exactly remember, it's a shooter MMORPG, so a massively multiplayer online role playing video game. Um, 
I played it on the Xbox 360. As I said, it's free. You can actually download it. Um, and there was massive battles, like huge battles. It's one of the first RPG uh, MMOs I, I actually played. I didn't play it very long. You know, I played it for about a week. Um, got in with some quests with some people that I met online, you know, and I had a lot of fun with it. So it's a pretty solid shooter. It's online only. As, as I said, I'm not sure if the servers are still up, but I did have fun with it. And when I saw it for $5, I decided to pick it up. There's some postcards here. The story was actually pretty decent too. So there's that. And this one I actually loved. I used to play this. I used to go over to my friend's house. He lived near the beach and we used to play uh, UFC Undisputed 2010 just versing each other, just like hammering the absolute hell out of each other for hours on end. I loved playing this game. We never did the grappling. Just always um, <laughs> like the boxing style. So uh, this PlayStation 3 version in particular has a few exclusive fighters. So there's uh, UFC 2010. So here are the two games that I've been after for a fairly long time, especially this one in particular. Uh, so I'll show that one first and that is Heavy Rain. This is the move edition with the Taxidermist DLC. My girlfriend and I have been playing this ever since we got it and we have been in love with this game. I can't believe I waited this long to play this game. Absolutely amazing. Seriously, I was just like, from the very first level or the second level, I was so on edge playing this game. It's so thrilling. If you guys haven't checked out Heavy Rain, be sure to go back and do so. Um, we encountered a glitch actually where our save file like got corrupt or something, so I don't know if we're going to be able to continue. But either way, we're going to go back and play through this one again. We got like maybe... We didn't get super far, but it's kind of annoying that the save file kind of bug it up. I feel like it's a fairly common problem, but this game's seven years old, so... No hopes in a patch being released or anything like that, but yeah, absolutely in love with the game. Um, fantastic. I love, you know, the kind of choices that you make uh, affect the outcome of the game. If you don't know anything about Heavy Rain, go and check it out right now. Um, you can probably find it pretty cheap, but I like to get the physical edition here with the DLC, so... Absolutely fantastic game, and from the makers of Heavy Rain, I have here Beyond Two Souls. So, haven't played this one, I have seen reviews, and if it's anything like Heavy Rain, I'll be seriously so excited to get into it. Probably start this one afterwards, um, you know, after we finish Heavy Rain. Uh, but yeah, there's Beyond Two Souls as well. So that is it for the PlayStation games. Now, a single Nintendo console. Um, I just have to say that these aren't actually technically games, they're actually just cases and manuals, but these were given to me by a friend who just has the games and he doesn't need the cases anymore. And I have to say, Nintendo DS uh, cases and manuals, like complete inbox, are actually kind of hard to come by now. I don't know why, like, I feel like just a lot of people have lost the cases or the manuals, but anyway, I just have three Pokemon games here, just the cases, not the games, but Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Platinum, and Pokemon Pearl. So the last Pokemon games I played were on the Game Boy Advance and they were Leaf Green and Fire Red, I believe. Um, so I haven't actually played a Pokemon game in a long time, but I love the Pokemon games. They are some of my favorite JRPGs. And uh, unfortunately I don't even own a DS. I, I want to get a DS IXL um, because there's so many DS exclusive RPGs or puzzle games or just, you know, tower defense games that I really want to get into. So you know, the, that's the start for my DS collection. As I said, I don't have the carts, but um, if I can pick up carts, uh, you know, cheap on eBay, I'll just put them in the cases and they'll be complete. So, perfect. And finally, sitting in this Mad Men box, we have the final platform, and that is PC. So, I'm going to get through these. I got these all pretty cheap from Cash Converters. Here's one I got for $2. This is Medieval 2, the Gold Edition, Total War, and Total War Kingdoms. So there you go. Um, is this part of the... I guess it's part of the Total War franchise. Uh, you know, I don't even think there's anything like... Okay, there you go. There's like a uh, sheet or whatever that has a code on the back, so I won't show that. But yeah, two-disc edition of these Total War games. Um, I actually bought Total War the first game, whatever that was. Like, is it like Shogun or something like that? So, I don't know, couldn't pass it up for $2. Next, on a similar vein, this is Tropico 2 Pirate Cove, also $2, have no idea what this game is, kind of looks cool in its world building or civilization aspect, so yeah, it's just on two discs as well, couldn't pass that one up. Here's some cool additions, this one was $5, this is Dungeons and Dragons Online Stormreach, have no idea about this game, never heard of it, obviously it's a 
MMO RPG type thing. So I'm going to open this up and uh, show you guys the contents inside. Comes in a cardboard box with a bunch of goodies in here. And it has like a, okay, that's the cardboard sleeve inside, which I'll fix up in a second. There's the game. Here is a fairly large poster, if you can see that. Pretty cool. This looks like another poster. This is a cool one. Okay, here's, um, I guess, some of the classes or something like that. The Ranger interests me the most. I like playing as classes like that. Here's a code thing. Here is the manual, quite a thick manual. You know, the, in the instruction guide, whatever, just in black and white, but nice artwork on there. And here, oh my goodness, what is this? This looks like all, like a skill tree of all the abilities and, um, yeah, skills, I guess, you can level up into. The classes and the stuff like that, are, it's double-sided. So, you've got Barbarian, Fighter, Rogue, Sorcerer, Paladin, Bard, Cleric, Ranger, and Wizard. There you go. And finally, we have a hot key guide here to the keyboard. I don't know if you can read that, but... And also a map of the game world. So, there's uh, Dungeons & Dragons Online Stormreach. Another MMORPG, I'm sure you guys have heard of this one. This is World of Warcraft. This is the game of the year from 2004. GameSpot, apparently. Um, but yeah, like, I got this one for $5 as well. It's kind of in this whole um, big box edition. or I wouldn't say big box, but, you know. I, okay, so the front has a little Velcro. And then opens up to have some nice artwork. I'm going to show you guys what's inside. Okay, so we have a huge manual here in the in a kind of like a book it's not even like really a manual it's more like a soft cover book and like i'm not sure if this uh this is just the manual but like it's so much text in there would anyone actually read that i don't know you have the product catalog have no idea what this is um okay has okay it's uh advertising other games i guess by who made this blizzard blizzard right yep have another product catalog here Going on, <laughs> some more games in the series, Diablo, merchandise, whatever. Um, and then here you have the uh, the game disc as well as a free 10 day pass and the codes for the things. They've probably been used, but I'm not gonna show them just in case they haven't. Um, and then, okay, these are really cool. So disc one, these are in like paper um, packaging. They're kind of flimsy a little bit, but there's disc two. They're cool artwork at least. Disc three, like in that one, and disc four. So this seems to be reasonably complete, and I'm pretty happy with that one for five bucks because you just can't find things like that anymore. Um, so I'm gonna put that one together at the end. And here we have, again, this is the last game here, World of Warcraft. This is just a, a big box edition. I'm not sure what this actually includes, but here it is. It's in a nice horizontal box, as you can see. So on the front, it has another Velcro, which opens up to some pretty epic artwork there, gotta say. And I'm gonna get it out and show you guys what's up with this one. So this one was actually $10. Figure out how to open this bloody thing. But $10, it's still not um, super expensive. You know, and it looks nice. Uh, like a piece in my collection, so happy to have it as well. Alrighty, here we have the Quick Starter Guide with fits in colour. Cool. We have some uh, Invite a Friend guest passes, StarCraft 2 guest pass. Not gonna sh I thought I did. Not gonna show those codes. Hello, Chris. Disc 1, these have codes on the front, so I'm not gonna show them. Um. Okay, these ones don't call. Cool. This is disc two, disc three, and disc four. Pretty cool artwork. And here is the official beginner's guide. So this is cool, it comes with a guide here. This says not for resale, so it's obviously included as part of the thing. And this is full color, um, a strategy guide. So awesome, super pumped to have that. Could have been better artwork, I feel like, on the front there, but, uh, cause it's kind of just the same artwork on the 
box but yes that is everything in this big box world of warcraft so not going to get into world of warcraft i was way too addicted to final fantasy 11 so um definitely not going to start another mmorpg but anyway guys that was gaming games episode 4 Thank you guys for watching. I have not bought any video games for the month of September, so I'm not 100% sure if there's actually going to be a gaming games at the end of this month, but rest assured there is going to be a figure games and an anime games, because I know a lot of you guys are more interested in the anime games than typically the gaming games, but I love to show off what I bought anyway. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did, sub if you're new to the channel. Sub? What the f- <laughs> um, And any questions you have, comment down below guys. I'll answer um, as soon as I can. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And the Anime Room Tour coming soon. We're on 87 subscribers, I think. So nearly, like, just over 10 uh, more subscribers to go. And then I'll be showing you guys in depth everything in the Anime Room. So until then, guys.